Well, back at it again, guys. I got another uh, surprise for you. It's not really a surprise. It's uh, helping my buddy out with the tractor, and here it is. It is a John Deere 520. Um, the problem he is having right now, the power steering pump is leaking. And I'm gonna go over everything else just to make sure everything's working properly on the tractor. It runs, starts fine. <clears throat> um, just want to fix some shit up on it. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell it down through here. The pump, apparently the seals in the tractor have been re in the power steering pump has been replaced, but it's leaking again. So either the shaft inside the pump is worn out, and so you might have to get a new shaft. Um, I don't know. I have to look at it. And then his seat broke the other day. It's a spring-loaded seat, which I wish the 50 had this. But the back weld broke on it, so it's slanted it down now. But yeah, everything is good on this tractor. Um, it doesn't have the mount, which is kind of weird. The mounts for the stack mount, as you can see right here. There's supposed to be a mount right there. And it doesn't have it. There's nothing it's just hollow. And when you first got the tractor, the exhaust curved up like this and came out the side, so it blow out the side, which is kind of weird. <coughs> um, those weights off the 50 used to be on this tractor. Mm -hmm. And the dude, when we got the tractor, he's like, "Oh, the tires still look." The condition of the tires don't look that great. I'm like, dude, the tires look almost fucking brand new. I mean, look at the 50 tires. They look like all dry rotted and shit, so. Sooner or later, I'm gonna get new tires for this. So, it'll be actually a show tractor. Um, yeah, other than that, the only problem is the power steering pump. I don't know if it wants me to look at this, this pull lever too. That's how you start and kill the tractor but it's not the original but when you pull it out sometimes you get to yank on it hard to start the tractor and then I had to fucking move this tire in really difficult it took like three or four hours to do never done that before <clears throat> but now I know how to roll the tires in <clears throat> on these older tractors but the 50 I'm just going to leave them like that ain't going to touch them but this one I had to do to load it up on the trailer and it barely fit. As you can see, these marks. It's all paint that was chipping on the trailer. But it fit though. So, um, yeah. I'll see if I can get a video of me assembling and assembling it. But 